This is a journey into vlog. Hey, I'm walking here. Hey everybody, uh, time for another Big Waves walk and talk here. This time it's from day three of the Walton Transcam. We've only got one day left. Uh, championships were handed out today. Uh, not all of them though, tomorrow is nothing but championships. So anyway, welcome to, uh, to another edition of the walk and talk here. Brought to you by the Canadian uh, Service Centers of Race Tech Suspension. So uh, if you're looking for Race Tech Suspension, looking for good suspension upgrade, for, by all means, uh, check it out in the uh, display there. In the display, in the description. And uh, check it out, the one nearest you. I'm uh, doing something a little bit different here tonight. We're on the, uh, on the track. Let's have a quick look here. We're always talking about the ruts. So, track crew did, crew did a great job uh, making this place like a kind of a pretty typical uh, Walton. Lots of ruts, ruts in the straightaways, ruts in the corners, good braking bumps. Uh, they took a few uh, little half hour breaks during the day, which was cool. Um, sometimes when the riders came back, they found out that the track was maybe a little too quick. Uh, you know what I mean? Nothing to separate the riders. So if they didn't get a great start, it was kind of hard to make uh, make passes. That was kind of one comment I heard quite often in the uh, after the after the after race uh, podium speeches uh, with Ryan Gold and Brett Lee took turns kind of doing the uh, the interviews. So that's cool. Uh, but yeah, so day three, Friday. Um, wow, well, let's talk about it. We got here not a cloud in the sky this morning. Uh, pulled into the track. Thank you to uh, Brett and Mel Lee for letting me park the direct motocross vans right there and now it is so close to the uh the podium so i can kind of go that's why i was able to do so many of these uh quick interviews and everything afterwards right once they're done doing their interviews i was able to jump up there and actually grab some interviews so i hope you're enjoying those hope you're enjoying these too i hope uh you know hope you're enjoying these walk and talks uh, i just find it's a, an easy way to get uh, a lot of information out quickly and i know when you're at home and you're not at the races it's kind of fun to just sit back throw on the youtube or uh, maybe a podcast on a drive and just kind of all right let's hear what happened yesterday so anyway that's my thought anyway let me know if uh, let me know if it's good i guess if you're watching it uh, you do think it's okay so anyway let's uh, let's get to the racing here um open intermediate second moto i'll kind of let you know when their third motos and what the championships ended up being like uh open uh, open intermediate started it off um whole shot went to and creighton dylan i mean creighton's the one uh number 96 there on the yamaha he's tough Sometimes he has some tough, uh, tough time with the starts, but uh, he loves the big bike. I know that for sure. Um, number 91 uh, from Minnesota, Ryder Malinowski, man, he was dead last in this one. Um, down with a few others off the start. Uh, also with uh, number 600, Noah Porter was at the back as well. Right off the start, like not in the first corner, just uh, you know, several feet off the start, they all got together, tangled up. So they were both way back, as was uh, number 95, Evan Stewart. So the big hitters, uh, obviously, Creighton Dillon must have been smiling at that one. We looked back and didn't see either, any of those three riders behind him. So uh, by the second lap, he kind of pulled out. Nice to see Luke Trico, number 526 on the Honda out there. Luke Trico did, Luke Trico did pretty well. Uh, he's looking really good, looking fit. It's facing me, you guys. It's facing me right now. Uh, but we got some kids over here in the uh, over here in the stands. Here they are. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> See you tomorrow on the ride, right? All right. So uh, yeah. Um, so Lou Trico was up in second. Uh, Aaron Henry is up there. Isaac Guadano was up there. Uh, Liam Dodds, number 930, was up there. So like a big shakeup in the in the open intermediate class this morning to start off for Tessa. So it, it was pretty interesting. At the halfway mark, uh, Creighton Dillon had gotten away. I'll try to speak a little quicker because we had a lot of stuff to go through. Uh, Creighton Dillon got ahead. Luke Luke um, Luke Trico ended up on his own, but the battle behind there between the three guys I just mentioned was huge. And now starting to close in was um, Ryder Malinowski. So he was moving his way up. Um, he worked his way up to fourth place, but he fell with like uh, one and a half laps to go. So that kind of sucked. So he dropped back. He made his way all the way up there. Uh, at the flag, it was Creighton Dillon with like a 30 second lead over Luke Trico and rounding off the podium there. It was uh, Isaac O'Dano. So good to see him finally uh, get up there on the podium. Nice to see him. I'm going to hop over the fence here now. We're leaving the track. Ugh. We'll just cut over here. Uh, so let's see. Oh, there was some... Uh, Results changes too, because I know, um, for example, uh, 
Ryder Malnowski jumped on a yellow flag. He got docked three points. There was a note, a whole bunch of guys had to go see Tim Lee after this one. So the day started out kind of interesting with everybody having to go talk to the talk to the referee. So uh, you know Jake, uh, Jake, you know uh, Tim takes the the refereeing and the rules and the safety of it's, it's for the safety of the rider. So let's not uh, let's not kid ourselves. He's not just doing this to be a jerk. It's uh, if everybody follows the rules, this sport can be as safe as we can make it, right? So, so that's why that came up. Uh, some other stuff came up during the day as well. I'm sure we'll get to that here. Okay, second. Uh, so there we had that uh, Creighton Dillon on the first moto. Uh, second moto up on the gate was uh, 85, 12 to 16. That was a second moto as well. Whole shot to um, Jaden Riley out of uh, Calgary, Alberta. Jaden Riley looking great out there. Um, he had Alex Tremblay. Uh, Alex Tremblay out there quite a few times today. Uh, didn't get the greatest start, sorry to kind of jump ahead there, right? Uh, Trombley and Dexter Sites were uh, second and third, so that was pretty good. Uh, then uh, as it moved on, Jaden Riley kind of ended up spacing it out uh, behind him. Dexter Sites ended up kind of by himself too, and behind him it was, uh, uh, it was number 20, Alex Trombley, able to hang on. Uh, he had some good pressure behind him from uh, number 76, Ben Kong, maybe. So that was pretty good. All oh, right, and as uh, when number four, when uh, Jaden Riley came up, now you come, you know, you do the Dave Pell Tower jump, and then you turn right up to the finish line. He came over, gave a good look over, one hand wave. I guess it was to his mom, and uh, damn it, I missed it. I missed the look over wave, so uh, that sucks. I wish I got that. But uh, okay, turn the page. Third moto, two stroke. Another second moto. So we're not to third motos yet. Um, so what do we got here? 20 late start, two stroke, back to back. Oh, right, Alex Tremblay. He wasn't up on the podium because he had to get over there. He was racing two stroke class right after the class that just went. So he uh, didn't make it up on the podium. He took off, went over, and something happened too because he didn't get out to, he was way back at the start of that one. Uh, hole shot to number 28 in the two stroke. That's Sam Gaynor. You don't want to give Sam Gaynor the hole shot in two stroke class. Uh, you can kind of know where that's going. Although, uh, the winner, look at these guys. So yeah, but what was cool is uh, number 807, Drew, uh, Drew Roberts was able to start closing in. So he actually made a race out of it. Uh, and Sam has a bit of a sore shoulder because he crashed, uh, was it yesterday? One of, the, one of the days he crashed. So he had actually a sore shoulder. Uh, but at the end, it was uh, Sam Gaynor with uh, Drew Roberts right on him. So that was pretty good. Uh, behind him, it was another Roberts. So it was a Roberts sandwich for Sam Gaynor out there. Travis Roberts ended up third. Uh, let's go on to 85, 7, 2, 11, uh, second moto. Uh oh, look at these guys. Heavy on the brakes. A lot of guys losing brakes today, Ryan. Well, I wasn't. A lot of guys losing rear brakes. You would thought my brake was stuck on the whole time. What, were you out there? Uh, yeah, stuck before you're, the you're not up early enough for my motos. <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Billy shows up around 11 <laughs> when things are perfect after his coffee, nice breakfast sandwich. Let's go to this guy. Hey, my motos are early, buddy. I was there, buddy, hey. I saw you. Good to have you out here, though. Thanks, man. I got photos of you. Don't you worry. Shift challenge, hole shot challenge. Ryan heading over to set it up there. The uh, shift hole shot challenge is tonight at 8:30. That's where he's going. It's always over there. At the start. Yeah. So 80, uh, 85, 7, 2, 11. It's fun. Hey, look at these guys. What's up, boys? What's up, just, just talking about you, Dexter. Perfect. <laughs> All right, 85, 7 to 11. Hole shot two. Yeah, who is the whole shot there? Oh, the number, that's, uh, every time I see these ones, it kind of throws me off, because, uh, you know, the east-west ones come in, and if I just write it down as one, sometimes I uh, I don't remember. But this one uh, was the number 10, so that's uh, uh, Braxton Zeitner in there for the uh, the number one. He was ahead of, uh, I, uh, sorry, uh, Alec Godano and Hayden Dupuy. Um, number 15, Dexter Seitz, who just went by us there, who we were just talking to. Hey, we were just talking about Travis Roberts, too. Look at that, there they are. Hey. How timely. It was a Robert sandwich for Sam Gaynor, I was saying. <laughs> hey guys! Hello! Your first appearance on a walk and talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Dexter Sykes was up there, but he fell and dropped back. Uh, by the third lap, um, Braxton Seitner had a pretty good lead, but now it was uh, Hayden Dupuy was up into second place. Uh, Isaac Odana was uh, third, and then uh, Parker Hatt was kind of at a distant, a little bit of a distant fourth. Oh, we got, we got people, we got people in the in the rear view here. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look here. Uh, yeah, then behind that was like a great five bike battle. Like the, the 85 super mini classes are always the great ones to watch, right? So, uh, hey guys. So that was good, let's, uh, let's flip it over here. 
that's kind of how that one ended, right? So it was uh, Braxton Zeitner got that one, Hayden Dupuy, Isaac Odano. Let's move over. Plus 25. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time here because look at these guys going again. That's a lot of dust, you guys. <laughs> Yelling at them. Yelling at these kids. Uh, yeah, plus 25. Tyler Medalli was out there, so he took the win in that one. Um, I saw Collins and Hoyer out there. Uh, that was a second moto for them. Uh, 450A. I just needed but, uh, to be like see here, we got, uh, again, at that one we had uh, Th uh, Kyle Thompson out there, so it's kind of good to see him back. Ky uh, Kyle Thompson, Jim Fredrickson, and Shane Cuthbertson were kind of going at it early in this one, so that was good to see uh, those guys. At that point, I kind of headed over because it was the Husqvarna Coffee with the uh, WMX rider, so I wandered over there, kind of missed a bit of the uh, 40. 40A class, went over, had a, had a coffee with everybody. You may have seen the picture with all the Fergusons. Coffee, Husqvarna coffee with the Fergusons. So uh, then it was uh, the youth, another second moto. So we haven't got to third motos yet. Whole shot to, you know what's going to happen here when in the youth class, if Evan Stewart grabs a whole shot, which he did. So he grabbed the whole shot. Uh, again, another start, but nice start by Luke Trico. So good to see him up there. Uh, and then the, uh, I think in the end it was uh, Stewart, Trico, and then uh, McDonald, number 182. So good, uh, good to see him up there. Uh, 65 GP, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, uh, Talon Medaglia, you may have seen our interviews, it's been great, always fun to chat with him. Talon Medaglia was, uh, he was down, he's kind of in the mid-pack sort of thing, so he had a lot of work to do in this one. Uh, but out front it was uh, Jeremy Belafoy, or just Belfoy. Um, uh, Mason Murdy, we had Parker Hat up there, we had uh, Maddox Generu, Maddox Generator. And moving up though, up uh, getting around Parker Hat at this point was Talon Medalli. So he started uh, making moves and moving his way up. Uh, he actually, by the fourth lap, he was out front. So this one, uh, oh man, this one was crazy. This is a wild, uh, this is a, a wild 65 race. So Talon's out front, Belfort second, uh, Parker Hat third. And then um, in lappers, Jeremy Belfort gets out front. And then they go back and forth, back just battling these kids, just going, it was awesome, really good race. And then, um, Talon tipped over again. And then at the flag, it was Belfort, right on his tail, was, uh, was Talon Medallion. I was kind of standing and running back and forth with, with Heidi Cook, and she was going nuts. I don't think she breathed. We kind of joked that obviously she needed the old breathe, breathe on the pit board for the mom, so it was kind of funny. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then uh, when uh, Jeremy was up on the podium, he actually mentioned not only did uh, Talon probably fall at least twice, Mm -hmm. Jeremy Belfort, he'd also fallen twice, so it was uh, it was crazy out there, just a, a battle of mistakes out there for these two kids. Uh, when he got up there, he's kind of pushing his front brake was super loose, the mounts. So uh, yeah, it was kind of funny to see he was like the front brake uh, lever would just kind of fall to the bottom, right? So he uh, he didn't have a front brake, I guess. Uh, so good job for him for uh, not uh, hanging him up and 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 finishing strong and taking that win. Okay, another second moto, the youngest class, 54 to six. Uh, Jason Kukielka ahead of uh, Bryson Burke, number 21. And then again, uh, looks like that was Maddox Jenneru out there again, too. Hey, look, he just goes sneaking right by. Ayrton Pomeroy goes wandering right by. Doesn't even say hi. How are you liking being a spectator, Ayrton? Um, it's definitely different. It's definitely something I've never really had to do before, but... At your age, you hate it. You wish it just drives you nuts, right? A little bit. Um, I like being mechanic. Oh, okay. I'm a mechanic for my dad oh. and um, Katrin Ferguson, so that's fun. But yeah, I miss, miss racing. For sure. How are we doing? How, how far away are we? Uh, there's no real date right now. Right. Probably about a month, maybe a month and a half, but... Just time to get the skis out. Yeah, time to get the <laughs> skates out and just have some fun, but hopefully we'll be back for a couple Supercross rounds, oh, but good. yeah. Okay. Well, good to see you, man. Sorry yeah. to sorry you're on the injured list. You would have been out there in the junior classes battling with these boys. Yeah, thank you. All right. Oh, oh yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work if I do that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're moving on to the youngest class. Yeah, so it was young uh, Jason Kukielka took that, and then a super close battle behind there. It was between Bryson Burke and number 95, Maddox Jenneru, and they had a pretty big gap behind them. So that was top three in the 54 to six. Second moto, another track break. Uh, Open Junior, second moto. Boy, this one, after you come down around the sweeper, you make the right and you start going up towards that ski hill, that ski jump, you know, and you obviously you know it coming the other way after the start. Uh, well, reverse it, and as you're going up, man, there was a nasty, I don't know, it looked like, I've got the sequence, I haven't had a chance to look at it, but uh, Hunter Scott, I, I think he kind of overlapped a tire, a wheel maybe, because it was obviously, you're, it's still packed up there, went down hard, someone hit him from the back, and bike pieces went everywhere. I mean, I've got a photo of him collecting the parts, 
Jim Scott pushing the bike. And uh, yeah, it was just, uh, it, was, it was chaos. Fortunately, he actually got up and was fine. So good to see Hunter Scott, the older of the Scott brothers, was okay. So that was cool. Uh, whole shot went to Jacob Fredrickson, and at this point the live timing was down, so I was talking to his mom out west there, out in uh, Saskatchewan, Alberta, where are they? Out in Saskatchewan, I believe. Uh, talking to his mom, kind of uh, giving her updates on how both he and uh, Jim, the dad, were doing, because she's not here. So that was kind of funny talking with her today. Um, but yeah, behind him it was, so it was Jacob Fredrickson, and then uh, Bobby Gravel, and then uh, Asher Brown, the 517. Um, Nice ride, really nice ride by uh, Jacob Fredrickson actually. He, he hung with those guys for a long time and, uh, and showed some really good speed. So he should be proud of that ride. He didn't, uh, didn't end up staying on the podium, but uh, he had a really good ride. Uh, I was talking to him a bit ago too. So at the, at the end though it was, you know when Bobby, Bobby Gravel gets out front in these uh, junior classes, it's gonna be tough to beat. Second was uh, Asher Brown. So a solid day from him. We just uh, saw him, he got the whole shot in the last moto too. Uh, and then 112, that's um, Nico Holmes. Good to see him and again, a bad start for Cole Pranger. So unfortunately he had a bad one in that one. And behind him was where uh, Jacob Fredrickson ended up. So that was good. 65, 10 to 11, second moto, a second moto here. And listen to, listen to Dave's mix, oh my goodness. Maybe you like that, sorry, I shouldn't say anything, but. Uh, all right, uh, 65, 10, 11, second moto. I missed the start of this one because uh, what happens sometimes is when the interviews go on. I want to kind of catch that last one. I was kind of, as you saw, doing interviews for uh, Instagram. So sometimes I miss the whole shot. So I missed the start uh, by the third lap. Dalla Medalli was out front, followed by Parker Hat. Um, and Cruz Gordon's running the number one in that one. Hey, what's up, Mike? There he goes. You probably saw him coming up on me, but look at this guy, chopping wood. <laughs> Mike Parliament from MP1. Uh, all right, so at, uh, so then it was, yeah, Parker Hatton and a nice little battle there with uh, the few of the guys like Grady Mansfield, uh, Merrick McGuire. These guys were like wheel to wheel for quite a, quite a time in this in this uh, moto. But in the end, uh, Talon Alley, man, the kids, kids ripping, kids ripping on the 65, I'll tell you. Uh, Parker Hatt was second, and then it went to uh, Cruz Gordon, third. Uh, they all ended up kind of separated, but uh, Cruz Gordon, all the way from uh, St. John, BC. So he's a uh, Port St. John. Sorry, he's from a he's from a long way. So good to see him here. Uh, 30C was a second moto. Sean McGibney won that one. Brought it Quebec. So the 783. Congrats to him on that one. Uh, Schoolboy two, second moto. Man, this one had a bit of a bit of a tension at it because as they're lined up and the guys went for their sight lap. Um, uh, rider, rider um, Malinowski, his bike wouldn't start. Something was wrong with it, so. <laughs> Oliver Benick. Uh, yeah, so his bike wouldn't start, so they had the seat off, they were looking at the electrical. It turns out it was something electrical in the mapping or something like that. I know he took it over to uh, KTM after and they got it all sorted out, but they managed to kind of patch it up. He missed the uh, sight lap, but man, he went out, I think he was out like, got third place start. So he just put the trust in the uh, in the plug and uh, away he went, man. So it was uh, pretty good to see him get out there and still be able to push it. But uh, pull shot to number 33, that's uh, Tanner Scott. So behind him, you know who else looked really good? Number 187, that's uh, Leith Ness. He's um he's really coming on. He's, uh, he looked, uh, he had a few good, he's really good at starts. He's been uh, in the intermediate classes and stuff. He's uh, been getting really good starts. So he's been up there in the mix. Uh, so at that point, then uh, Creighton Dillon was behind Melanoski on this one. Um, yeah, then uh, Tanner Scott kind of started gapping it a little bit. Getting up into second was Malinowski, followed by Dylan, and then uh, Leith Ness ended up kind of on his own there. Uh, that's how that one kind of ended too. So, but it was uh, good to see, good to see him, good to see uh, good rides. Uh, then at 1 p.m. we had our first third moto of the of the whole thing, and there's a uh, Mark Dion over there. We're gonna wander up. We're gonna. Oh, he's close. He's close. He's shutting it down. Hey, we're just talking about you. <laughs> good job, man. Thank you. Hmm. That is Asher Brown from Port Alberni, Port Alberni, BC. So good to see these guys from all the way out there. Uh, yeah, so 50 GP was the first third moto. So a first championship was given out at one, uh, just after one. Full gate, man, too. Really full gate on this one, 40, 42 bikes. Um, pull shot to Cade Dupuy. Good little dude, good on the podium too. Good for the interviews. If you happen to have watched any of those, it's, uh, it was good to have him up there. Okay, so he got the start. Then it was uh, Hart Quinlan. Then we had uh, Jason Kukielka. So those guys were up in there battling. That's kind of how it ended. It ended up uh, young Kate Dupuy took the win, followed by a really tight battle there between Hart Quinlan and Jason Kukielka for uh, the podium. And at one point during this race, uh, on the on the uh, mic, uh, Dave Bell was talking about a. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! That's dangerous. Oh 
Oh, Kool-Aid. <laughs> Hayden. Aiden Halstead in the house. Uh, yeah, so at one point there was like a big battle because the first three guys were kind of were kind of spread out, but then there was a, a bunch of guys battling. And Dave, I don't know if Dave realized what he said, but he said, "And we've got a group of seven. I don't think he got the joke. He yelled out "group of seven and we did. There was no artwork jokes, but uh, anyway, it was kind of funny. I, I, it's in the notepad, people. It's in the notepad. So that was kind of funny. Group of seven. Uh, so in the end, it was uh, Young Kate Dupuy with a nice uh, 25 second gap. Hey boys, hey. ladies, yeah. I'm, I'm coming in. Oh, she took yeah. it. Come on, where's she going? We haven't talked enough today. I know. Ev Broder, um, we had a nice little chat today uh, yeah. and she's a champ again. We're not to her race yet, but uh, how many is that? Oh, you corrected it. What is I it? corrected it. What are the stats? Seven Transken Championship. So that's 16 totals as of today. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty happy. What, what more do we need to say about that? <laughs> you did have some good battles though. Again, we talked about it on the thing, yeah. but let's talk about it now for YouTube. Um, lap traffic seemed to be the issue. And then all of a sudden, uh, Brianna Shelton was on you. Like uh, you guys got, not on you, but you yeah. guys got pretty close. Yeah, well, like I said on the podium, I think it was a part of, uh, partly me getting a little bit lazy middle race. I, I started to shift a little less and use my clutch a bit more, be a little less aggressive. And then also I was getting caught up in the lappers a bunch. And there's so many laps where I couldn't do the natural doubles. I couldn't do the triple coming into the roller. So obviously that takes off a lot of time on the, on a lap when the person behind you can. Um, but she was riding good and I made a few mistakes and then in the last lap I tried to uh, charge back and get back uh, that little gap. Well, <laughs> congratulations. I'm not sure who is a more successful transcan person than you. Who is? Who are you closing in on? Josh Woods or something? What is I, I have no idea. Are you past Josh Woods? Are we throw Josh Woods' name around? I don't know. I don't know. She's up there. It's good. I just do my own thing. Uh, well, we're all watching and good luck on Sunday. Thank you so much. Uh, Windows down uh, all right, that was Ev Broder, one of the winningest, uh, well, one of the winningest, she's going to be, in the modern era, she's going to be like the winningest uh, Canadian rider of all time kind of thing, right? But uh, with her championships going for, she'll have her 10th here this weekend, probably, well, probably, about 99.9%. .9%. She will get the, uh, the chance. Anyway, so let's uh, let's keep moving on here. What do we have? Yeah, we had our first uh, champ was Cade Dupuy, the number 312. The Dupuy's out of the Alberta there, so good to see him up there. Uh, behind him it was, what was it here, we had uh, Jason Kukielka, like I mentioned, and Hart Quinlan right behind him. Uh, then we took a break and Schoolboy 1 was next. That one went off without um, Jaden Riley, unfortunately. I guess they got, I missed it because I was over at the, uh, the podium here talking with, you know, because they're giving out championships. So I was over at the stage and then it uh, turns out he, I guess they got there and it the, turns out his frame was broken. So they got there and it was like, oh man, we got a broken frame, we can't race this. So. Uh, Obviously he pulled out of that one, so he missed that one. So he's a five DNS going into the final schoolboy one. Unfortunately, so that obviously took him out of, took him out of contention in that one. Uh, oh, we also in this one is number 13, Brenner Lemons. Lemons, uh, we, yesterday for him, he had a big hole. We, remember he said on the podium that uh, he, something was wrong with his bike and he wasn't sure. Turns out somehow he thinks he kind of came up short, maybe on the natural or something and it broke a hole. <laughs> Gee, who could that have been? <laughs> he tried to roll coal on me. I don't even know what that means. Hey guys, anybody want to talk? We got a, we got a champ. We're one of the uh, one of the late moto. Well, not a champ, second place, but he won the last moto. Daniel Elmore out there uh, beating up on the kids on the 450. Not really. I'm kidding. It was good, buddy. Talk about how your race went. Tell tell us how it went. Yeah, the race is good. A uh, little redemption last moto. I went seven five one for second overall in program. So pretty stoked on it. Had a good ride today. Nice, nice. I see. Uh, I see the boys back there. We got it. We got old broken wrist there. How's he doing? How's that coming? Good. good. Tyler Yates. Let's see how he's doing. Tyler, we're gonna grab you. Come on, buddy. How sure. you doing? You're here. Good. You're having yeah. fun at the Transcan. Yeah, we're just hanging out, helping out Marcus and watching and yeah. Just, just time. Yeah, pretty much. About two months. About two months away from getting back. How are you liking bike. your stay here? You having fun? Like, yeah. You, you can have fun. fun. Yeah. It's a little different watching from the sideline, but still fun and what yeah, do you think nice you wish track. you were riding the track backwards what do you think yeah for sure that looks like a lot of fun do, yeah. yeah that looks cool nice. but we'll All see right. next year who's doing the whole shot challenge not me marcus marcus I'm not, I'm whole not, shot yeah. challenge you're <laughs> limping pretty badly there man yeah i had a little tip over in the last moto oh you did we should be all good for the weekend so what'd you hurt uh just my knee kind of hyper oh, just, it, oh, just so. your knee. <laughs> 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 all right Bye. guys well good luck everybody well not you well, good luck getting better <laughs> yeah, and good luck on the weekend you guys thank you see you guys all right, that'll shorten our uh, our second last race of the day conversation there because Daniel Elmore won the Pro-Am final moto. 
Uh, but yeah, school boy went, like I was saying, brand new lemons. It turns out it was a big hole in the, uh, where the pipe attaches. So it was rattling around. You could tell something was wrong, obviously. Anyway, he got back out here in this one. Hole shot again to Tanner Scott. Uh, behind him, um, Bobby Gravel. And that's uh, kind of when you see those those names, you know that's kind of going to be the way it goes, don't you? So at the final, it was um, the guys I just mentioned. It was Tanner Scott took the win with that. Uh, Bobby Gravel ended up kind of alone in second. And then also alone was uh, uh, Brenner Lemon. So top three. Cool to see Brenner get, Brenner get uh, he's only 13, by the way. He's like, I don't know, he's closing in on six feet tall, for goodness sake. So I think uh, he's kind of like a Ryan Miller situation or a Parker Eels. You know, everybody thinks he's older than he actually is. So uh, it's, anyway, he's only 13. 14 in September, I asked him, I just saw him. Uh, okay, girls, nine to 16, second moto. I'm closing in on these guys, see if we get any, see if we get any funny comments here when the, uh... you know what I did over here one time? I went in, they invited me nicely in for a coffee. I go in, I sit down, we're chatting, I'm having a coffee, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> and without thinking, I reach down and I just start snapping the dust off my socks. <laughs> and I think they've forgotten about it, but I'll never let myself live it down, but it's kind of funny. So. I'm gonna pub I'm publicly apologizing. Um, I really, I thought it was funny actually, but you, <laughs> yeah, you handed you, me a vacuum. Oh, did I? <laughs> no, no we did. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I, I really, I thought it was funny, but I mean, cause you were sitting there and we were having this <laughs> cerebral conversation you're going, <laughs> just. <laughs> well, I'm looking around the RV is like, but it was fun and then, and then you learned about the, the, that occasion from someone else, and I can't yeah, recall yeah. who it was. I oh, probably, it was probably was Greg. Back. Yeah, and then it got back to Emily somehow. Oh, so okay. maybe it was Greg, yeah, maybe it was, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't be in a motocross track. And, and not be dirty. And, and not be dirty. You can't be violated because someone- He's publicly her. pretending not to be upset about it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be, you know, you can't do that. I mean, you know, like people come into your RV, you gotta expect those stuff, right? <laughs> and we love having Billy at our RV. Uh, so. See, now, we're, now he's pushing it. He's gone too no, far. I'm, I am pushing it right now. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, no problems. Come on by for the, you haven't come by for a coffee in a long time. Well, I know, it's like, you're looking for where you are. Yeah, but we don't want to be like, <laughs> you know. There's cream soda just down here at Hall Race Fields. Wow. Cream soda? <laughs> yeah, that stuff brings, will kill you. He brings cream soda for me. I, oh, I, yeah. I think I'm on three or four already. <laughs> well, you're all jacked up on cream I'm soda. That's what it is. jacked up on Pop Shop cream soda. <laughs> That's right, Pop Shop, shop reference, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think many people catch that reference. By the way, there's a number 34 standing behind you. He's got a knife on his shirt and a bunch of Russian writing. I don't know what's going on back here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask. Just stop okay, no. Ryan. What is that all about? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's an artist I like, and uh, yeah, I, I don't wear this around in Toronto <laughs> very often because there's a lot of Russians in our hood. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of provocative, but oh. uh, yeah. Nobody here knows what it is, so nobody. Yeah, you I, was like, uh, I was like, you know, I'm like, I had a, I didn't do my laundry, and I had some <laughs> dirty shirts, and I'm like, ah, I'm gonna be here for a week. I need, you know, as many shirts you know, as I can I get. Didn't do I'll bust Whatever, out the Russian like, Mafia So we'll, I'll walk around with the Russian Mafia shirt and <laughs> the buzz cut and, uh -oh. you know. Hey, Ryan. It says knives don't kill people, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, but the secret is out. But, but uh, yeah, no, that's, yeah, it's, it, it's just go a walk shirt. By, uh, go walk over at the uh, the Manlock trailer. Yeah. Because did you know that uh, Zach, you can zap dad, Ben? Is he's, he he's Russian. Is he oh, Russian? Oh yeah, right. go wander over there. I wonder there. if he, did, like, he yeah, he might be able to read it. We're yeah. bringing it over to, oh, oh, I guarantee you, no, he's fluent. Like, he's fluent oh, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it then. Yeah, yeah. I'll walk by. <laughs> how'd you like so, by the way? How'd, how'd the pro go? Uh, pro am was a struggle this week. Like, I think uh, I've always struggled here and it's, with the track change, um, yeah, I, I think it's fun, uh, but just grip and hang on too tight, mm -hmm. so. But you know we'll sort it out for Sunday, and I'm I'm looking forward to the long motos, and I can like really you know find a flow and and uh, have more fun. So the roost is uh, a treat here too. So. I know. How do your shoulders look? The sides of your head? Not right? bad. They're really not bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. I don't bruise that bad. No. No. There's still some there. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, well, guys. Well, uh, the mosquitoes are coming out. We're later oh, tonight than usual. It's bad. All right. Good luck on oh, Sunday. Yeah, we'll see you, you guys. Yeah. See you, Billy. Thanks for the chat. Yeah. See you for the coffee. <laughs> come by for coffee. Yeah, and don't come with socks on. I'll wear flip-flops. I'll wear yeah. flip-flops. <laughs> 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 All right, that was Team Dare. You know, we're going to... Not that bike again. That was Julian Bennett and 
Yeah. Feeling better than Jake Piccolo. It, oh, you, oh, you won't even look. <laughs> All right, so sorry, where were we? The girls 9 to 16. Uh, like I mentioned, I think the uh, the future of Canadian uh, WMX is in good hands with Brandy McClarty and Hannah Cole. Uh, they both went down to Loretta's and they both kicked butt in the uh, 9 to 16 class. They were way ahead. I think they had like half a track by the end of it. So uh, really good for them. Uh, that was a second moto. Um, I think Keanu Kurtz was the, in third on that one. So yeah, half a track back to them. So they started off with a good battle. Um, um, Brandy McClarty kind of got away a little bit on uh, on Hannah Cole. So they're both on little bikes, right? So we're on the uh, the 9 to 16 class. But good to see the future is going to be good, obviously, for the uh, for the uh, WMX class in a few years. Uh oh, I'm going to kind of wander over there. We got to. I tell you, these things could go on for like, we could do hours. These things could be hours. You know what's funny though is the Wi Fi at the shop is the fastest I've ever seen. So even if it is an hour, we'll be able to. Uh... <gasps> hey, there's Ace. Hi, Ace. There's Ace. Ace People is the place. Like, uh... All right, it looks like they're in ah! serious. No. Okay, Ace. Ah! Looks like we're in a serious conversation ah! here. Can I ask Sebastian quickly, man? You looked really good out there. Um, that ah! final one, you kind of looks like you put it all together. Yeah. The other motos, maybe not so much, but this one, man, you were right in there in the battle. Oh, yeah, I mean, I just got a good start, honestly. No, no secret to it. I was 20th on the other one, so I just made my way up. Now I was already up there, so. Um, yeah, good start makes it happen, and I was trying to make my way. I think I was faster than Noah and those guys. I just couldn't make a pass happen. The track was. And the pressure behind you, Quinn Amiot coming after yeah, you. Yeah, so I was trying to go outside and stuff to pass no one, and Quinn catched up, and I was just protecting the insides, and then it was kind of a back and forth battle. So it was, That's exactly what Ryan asked you on the podium there. Yeah. He said the same thing, right? It's like, yeah, because you're trying to pass, but then you got a guy behind you, you don't know which lines to take, right? Exactly. So you yeah, so got to think was, front and back. Right? Yeah, it was, it was, it was good. good. Yeah, it was good. And I got about halfway through, I got Noah threw a rock in my goggles and broke my lens. Oh, that's right. So I was... It was a little breezy. In yeah, the it was a little bit sketchy with <laughs> dirt flying in my goggles, but yeah, we made, made it work. All right, buddy. Well, you look good. Uh, I hope that translates into a good finish this weekend for the yeah. finals. Yep. All right, man. See ya. Yeah, again, that was another uh, of the uh, the Pro-Am riders. Uh, obviously, you know Sebastian Racine, of course, uh, but he ended up third to uh, right here. Number 25, Daniel Elmore, and number 61, Noah Viney. Uh, so that was the podium. Anyway, we're looking at the girls. We just talked about that. It was uh, Brandy McClarty and Hannah Cole getting away on that one. Um, 40B, Jason St. Amour has now gone 1-1 one, one in that. Number 184. I'm going to breeze over there. Two, we've only got a couple left here now, too, so that's good. Um, 250 Intermediate was a third moto. Probably, I don't know, would you say 250 Intermediate is the most coveted title to get here? Maybe that, Super Mini and Junior? I'm not sure. But uh, I always kind of like 250 Intermediate for sure, because you want to see guys who are going to race maybe on the weekend, going to turn pro, maybe if they're American. Um, Ryder Malinowski is not going to race on the weekend because he wants to keep his B class standing in the States, so he, we won't be seeing him if you're wondering about that. So we won't be seeing him. Okay, so whole shot to number 191. Ryder Malinowski got out front in this one. Right behind him, the usual suspects. We had Evan Stewart, we had Creighton Dillon, and we had Noah... Noah Porter. Um, uh, they kind of spread out a little bit. Uh, Malinowski got away. Evan Stewart ended up by himself. Quite a big gap back to 96. Uh, Creighton Dillon in this one uh, at the flag. Um, 91 won it and took the title in this one. So he had a bit of a gap back to Evan Stewart. Evan was working hard though. And then a pretty big gap back to uh, Creighton Dillon. Creighton Dillon ended up second. So overall, we'll talk about the overalls in this one. 2 1 1. 2 1 1 for. I'm not sure I want that handle. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, so first of all, it was uh, Ryder Malinowski got that title. Cool to see him up here from Minnesota. Hey guys. So it's cool to see him 2-1-1, like I say. Second, 296, Creighton Dillon. And third, to Noah Porter from uh, all the way out west. So good to see him uh, all the way. Man, Noah Porter all the way from uh, Williams Lake. That's uh, Hoyer, count. Hoyer country. Um, 57 to eight. This was a second. Oh, sorry, we got more. This was a, that was the other day when 250 Intermediate was almost last. Uh, 57 to eight, second moto. Uh, we had, uh, was it Parker Beckington took this one ahead of Cade Dupuy and number 130 Hart Quinlan in that. So uh, they've got a third moto coming up. Uh, good battles on the small bikes, man. These kids are really moving. Really fine. Cool to see uh, Beckington up in the, uh, up from Michigan. Uh, let's go, ladies. Oh boy, yeah, we do have a few to go. Oh, not too many. Uh, ladies three, uh, ladies third moto. So this is a championship. We talked to uh, Ev Berder there, of course. You know, uh, you know what happens in this one. She took the win, uh, but uh, oh, uh, here's what I want to talk about in this one. Um, number three W. That's uh, Kaylee Kayer. Careful doing all that walking and talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just 
Well, let's speak of the devil. I literally, did you hear me just say that? I literally was just going to say, I think you may have had until you had that brake issue. Yeah. I'm going to say Kaylee Kier had her breakout ride today. She proved to herself and all of us, yeah. all of us that she could battle up there and go the pace of Ev and uh, Brianna. So could you tell us about that one, how that race went? Because I, I was impressed with your riding. Yeah, it was a really good race. I got the, off to the whole shot there and then um, Ev kind of got around me pretty quickly, but I felt like I held on with her for like almost that whole first lap. I was like right on her back wheel. And then me and Brianna went at it after that. Just you going weren't giving back an inch. and you forth. Were, yeah, you were not gonna give no, up. No, we just kept going back and forth everywhere. And we got into packs of lappers and stuff. And like, it was crazy. <laughs> okay, I gotta ask you now, it's kind of funny how motocross works. You know, you look over your shoulder, you see a number, you kind of know, oh, that person's faster, that person's not. Going into this, did you would you have thought you could have stayed with Brianna Sheltima? I didn't know. I, I didn't know because we did different practices, so we didn't get the practice together. I was kind of looking at the lap times and she had some quicker lap times, so I didn't really know what we, where we were going to be coming into it. And then the first couple motos, I kind of was just riding there in third place but alone. And then the, that third one, I was like, I just got to get off to a good, better start. And I got the whole shot. I was like, okay, I think I can hang in with them. And just push as hard as I could in that moto just to try and stay there. Well, I think you, uh, I think you proved something to yourself that you can actually do that. I mean, I think, yeah. I mean, you weren't that far away from Ev either, right? Until you no. said, was your back brake just kind of went away on you? Yeah, it, I think it just got really hot and just faded and I kind of lost it for, there for a couple laps and then it came back all of a sudden and then kind of kept losing it here and there. Mm -hmm. It was kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, that was a common story up on the podium actually. A lot of people said their bra rear brake went, so that was, uh, you weren't the only one. Yeah. Anyway, congratulations. That was a really good race and you got third in the championship. Yeah, thank you. So, are you, all right. And you can, you can continue. I'm sorry to, sorry to ambush you, but uh, thank you very okay. much for stopping and chatting with us. But I literally just said your name and I turned around. There you are. <laughs> All right. Good riding. Good riding. Good luck on Sunday. That was like I said, that was, that was Kaylee Kayer, man, just as we were talking about her. So, uh, yes, she ended up third in this one. It went uh, Ev Broder, it went Brianna Sheltima, and then uh, and then Kaylee Kayer. There she goes. But uh, yeah, I think, like I said, that's what I was going to say. I just thought she proved. She showed that, uh, man, she can run with those those folks, man. She uh, killed it, and she's going to be on our ISDE women's team, too. So that's kind of cool. She's going to race the off-road off -road championship over there, the six days. Oh, and then as I'm walking around, so then who do I bump into? I bump into Scott Tokley. Scott Tokley. I didn't even know he'd fallen yesterday. Boy, did he ever fall. He's got, let's look at his uh, laundry list here. Uh, collarbone broken in three places. Uh, he broke three ribs. He has uh, one lacerated lung and one bruised lung. So he's got some surgery planned. He's up walking around, of course. I think he might have been even, he might have been working too, even. Who knows, he's probably doing stuff. But anyway, yeah, Scott Tokley, get well soon, buddy. Hope your surgery goes well, if that's where it goes. Uh, 30B, uh, Kyle Burke, buddy of uh, KT. I happened to be standing with uh, Kevin Tyler at the time. A buddy of his got the whole shot, number 199. Um, this was a third moto. Uh, Kyle Thompson went 1-1-1 in this one. Behind him was Ricky Conway, and then, um, uh, what do we got here? The number 130. Blanking. Uh, Darcy Quinlan, sorry, yeah. Darcy Quinlan got uh, third in that one. Uh, Super Mini third. Um, yeah, Super Mini. My favorite race to watch, to be honest with you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, that was my, that's my favorite one to watch. Uh, whole shot to number 15, Dexter Seitz. Uh, great start by young uh, Nate Snellgrove was up there. The 158 third was number 27, uh, Alec Guadano. I like to see a lot of people are riding, uh, walking the track right now too, kind of picking lines, trying to make some better things. Oh, we should, this guy won the uh, Total Devotion Award a few years, busted himself up like you've never seen, ended up coming back cheering on. I'm talking about Dan Trico. Dan, good to see all the Trico boys back at the track and riding. Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's a great year so far. Sorry, I'm going over here because there's too many outhouses over there. I don't want them in the background. Yeah, you're doing all right. You're having fun. Are you third place kind of guy? Yeah, I got a two, three. I got I to gotta stop making mistakes and try and get a good start, but. Uh, yeah. You know who's looking good? The 526. Yeah, oh Luke yeah. Luke is on it. Yeah, Luke's, uh, Luke's been riding a bigger bike this summer and it's really working for him. He's a big guy and uh, he was kind he, of struggling for power. He kind of mentioned that uh, he's maybe the reason that we see Jake back on the bike a little bit more. Yeah, they've, they've, they've been doing some training together so it's it's gave him, given him a little motivation but now Big Brother's whole shot and all the time so I think he's got to go back to the 452. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, buddy. Well, good to see you guys out right. here. I just wanted to kind of, I saw Thanks. you standing here and enjoying a tasty yeah. beverage. <laughs> all right, yeah, Dan Trico there. Like I say, good to see all three Trico guys out on the track. Uh, so we talked about that, Super Mini. These are just amazing races, right? Like everyone's just watching. Number 48 didn't get a great start, but he was on the move, coming up, making passes. It was Seitz, it was Guadano, it was uh, Zeitner, it was Kortenbach, it was uh, Jonathan Bergeron, and then Jaden Riley coming up. And then uh, at the finish, it was, uh, Dexter Seitz managed to hold the lead. Awesome riding, rode very well. Uh, 
Alec Odano too. He's uh, kind of been a bit angry with himself. He's had a few, uh, a couple little mishaps, but he was pretty happy to be up there in second. And third went to Kortenbach. Fourth went to Jaden Riley, but uh, Riley ends up taking that title. So it goes uh, Riley, Seitz, Kortenbach, one, two, three, and Super Mini. That's your uh, your final in the Super Mini. All right, we got to get going here. Uh, Pro Am three. Uh, this is the one we already talked about that too. Daniel Elmore got out front, and then a whole slew of two fifties behind him. Noah Viney looked great. Sebastian Racine looked great. Um, and then behind him with quite a bit of a gap was uh, number 14, Quinn Amiot was quite a ways back. He just charged. I wish I, I wasn't shooting video, I probably should have, but uh, pros are for Sunday. Um, but yeah, so he, he was looking really aggressive, caught right up. In the end, it was uh, Daniel Elmore, Noah Viney, Sebastian Racine on the podium. Quinn Amiot just missed it, but uh, shout out to Quinn because he looked really good. And then behind them, nice little battle between uh, um, Mason and uh, Piccolo. So that was pretty good back there. Uh, let's see. The overall, Noah Viney actually takes that win, takes the overall in the uh, Pro-Am. 4-3-2, beats a 7-5-1 of Daniel Elmore, and a way back, uh, I didn't see what happened, but uh, trouble obviously, he must have fallen, obviously he had troubles at the beginning, and then he was coming back, then he fell again, talking about number 33, uh, Tanner Scott. He ended up third with a 3-1-14, so man, he's looking good. Let's see if he can translate that into a, a good Sunday at the, at the uh, Pro National, which is uh, obviously what his focus is. Hey, here we are. Now we're at the final one here. 250 Junior, uh, third moto. Cole Pranger got off to a bad start, unfortunately. Man, that's kind of been his Achilles heel because he should be up here battling with his other guys. Um, up at the front there, I know, um, I think Asher Brown might have got this one. Yeah, Asher Brown got the whole shot in this one, so good for him. And I also put up a little bit of a, a short clip. I'm going to go over closer to the uh, SSR Gas Gas pit here. It looks nicely lit. So I'll kind of go by it here and have it, have it in the background. Yuri working away on the boss's bike. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff working away on the boss's bike. <laughs> Look at those, uh, that color's a bit off. Hand guards. Yeah, well, beggars can't be choosers. Mosquitoes are coming out. I gotta get this thing finished. I gotta, all right. See ya, have a good night. All right, so uh, 250 Junior, uh, by lap two, Bobby Gravel had gotten out front followed by, I think, uh, I have 85 here, Racine written in there. I'm not sure if that's right or not, but Danny Roberts was up there as well. Uh, I feel like something must have happened to Asher Brown, but I don't uh, I don't have it written down here. And then kind of back a little bit, but had moved his way up to fourth was Cole Pranger, so good to see him move up. By the halfway, Bobby Bobby, uh, <laughs> Bobby Gravel was out front. Uh, Danny Roberts, good ride from him. We've been expecting that. Look at Steve Sims over. He's making a face, now he's running away. Steve, you can't run away. I'm getting low on battery though. We gotta make it quick. Oh. No, it's fine. She always says. Steve Sims, how's it going here, buddy? How's everything going here at the, this year's Transcan? Ah, it's been good. Uh, we got lucky on a few days of weather there. I think we got a little bit of rain coming tonight, but oh, yeah. it's uh, it's been a good week. How's the 738 doing on the track? Ah, uh, not very good, but <laughs> we're out there and trying. So it's good to have you matters. back, buddy. Good to have you back behind so, the gate, uh, having some fun. Yeah. No, Other guys was, are taking the heat for the 30. Oh yeah, now. there's a lot of sandbagging out there now. <laughs> <laughs> we just have a Top X Pro racing it. Yeah, I don't know how that went, but uh, apparently it falls within the rules. <laughs> <laughs> You're just happy to have the pressure off you. Yeah. All right, long, man. Have a great it's weekend. It's long gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have a good weekend, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve Sims, we talked about that. That's uh, Kyle Thompson winning the uh, the 30B. But uh, yeah, so um, Danny Danny Robertson looking good out of uh, out of Alberta. Good to see him. And then up into third was uh, Cole Prang. Or so he was pretty funny. He was pretty funny. He said, uh, "What happened to his? He lost his back brake on the uh, in the halfway through that too, or somewhere in it." He's kind of, I don't know, just kind of broke. It's kind of funny. So uh, the final of that was Bobby Gravel, bit of a lead over uh, Cole Pranger, made the pass on Robertson to get into second, Robertson second, and a little bit of a distant fourth was uh, Asher Brown. So uh, the final in that, 1-2-1 one, one, beats a 2-1-2. Two, two. I mean, those two guys were sort of interchangeable. Pranger, we kind of knew that going into the junior races, that it was going to be uh, the Pranger, Bobby Gravel show. Oh man, it's quarter after eight. We're almost time for a uh, whole shot challenge as he's heading over there on the two-stroke, nice. And Asher Brown goes 3-3-4 for uh, third place on that to get the podium, so congrats to him. Oh, <laughs> we're <gonna> photo <laughs> we were well, now you're in trouble, now you're, just, now you're the only ones in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was the final race of the day. Um, hey, what are these guys just talking to your boss? <laughs> Sam Gaynor, always busy, always having fun, working hard. Uh, so yeah, I mentioned Asher Brown. He was only two points up on number 21, Nathan Fraser. Fraser, Davey Fraser's little brother. Uh, and I mentioned that because Davey Fraser was our first ever DMX Total Devotion Award winner back in 05. So 
So uh, yeah, kind of a little bit of a lineage there. Just thought I'd mention that to end this one. As I am now heading back towards the van, I'm gonna head back to London tonight uh, for a weekend here. Come back here for Saturday. It's, uh, don't forget to go enter, what was it actually? Uh, Racing for Mental Wellness, the Tanner Ward, the uh, the Ride With Me ride is tomorrow. So I gotta make, I haven't signed up yet. I gotta go sign up for that thing right now. Uh, I started too earlier than the races started again. So I wasn't able to finish it. I had to close my phone. Um, yeah, so that's tomorrow. Uh, it's always a great time. This is year five of it. So be sure to do that, sign up. Money goes to a great cause, of course. Um, also, Courtney Lloyd is here with the Motocross of Nations uh, merch. So she's got uh, white t-shirts now too. So make sure you come over. If you're coming back, bring some, uh, coming by, bring your, bring your credit cards, guys. Help, uh, help the cause. My boss is back. I know, I saw, I saw. <laughs> That's what I, I just told him. I just talked to him. Ah, uh, Sam and Jeff Gaynor. Uh, okay, yeah, so um, thank you very much to uh, the Canadian Service Centers for Ride Tech Suspension. Make sure you check out uh, where you can get a hold of those guys and get your suspension dial. Get your suspension fixed first. Don't get graphics, don't get a uh, pipe. Get your, get your suspension done, night and day difference. All right, so uh, thank you very much for watching. We got one more day of racing. Nothing but championships tomorrow. Starts early. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Hey, I got one more page here to flip. Oh, there's a, there, yeah, if you're looking at the schedule, there's actually changes. They're changing the schedule a little bit, so uh, I haven't seen it yet. We'll have it up uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, the changes so far have only been small, so I'm not sure if it's going to be bigger or not. But uh, first one is Schoolboy 1, second is 85, 7 to 11, and the third is plus 25 and plus 40A. So that's uh, the last race is going to be the Open Junior class. Oh, the crowd's gathering over there for the uh, hole shot challenge at 8.30, so that's in a few minutes. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to uh, head on out of here now, and we'll be back at it tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Hey, I'm walking here.